Ukraine could invade at any time, and separatist leaders were worried because the United States called on its citizens to leave. Ukraine could launch a full-scale attack on the Donbass region. Donetsk People's Republic Prime Minister Denis Pushilin said today as the U.S. called on all its citizens to leave the country. I do not rule out that Ukraine can attack at any time, everything in Ukraine is already ready for this. The concentration of forces at the demarcation line in Donbass allows this to be done at any time. As soon as there is a political decision, the separatist leader said, an invasion could be imminent, Mr. Pushilin claimed, speaking about Mr. Biden's advice in which he said that the U.S. would not help citizens that remained stranded in Ukraine as things could go crazy quickly. Taking into account the influence of the United States on Ukraine, the U.S. president probably has some information that allows him to come to such statements, he said. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has protested over U.S. and British claims that Russia is about to attack Ukraine saying the invasion warnings are hysterical and could spark panic. But Mr. Pushilin said that as hostilities escalated, Ukrainian intelligence services were stepping up operations targeting DPR service personnel. We note the intensification of the intelligence activities of the Ukrainian special services. In order to obtain information about the location of the headquarters, control points and other important objects of the military civil infrastructure of the republic, while the mainstream Western media continues to claim that Russia is about to invade Ukraine, Despite Moscow and Kiev's insistence otherwise, it has ignored the 120,000 Ukrainian troops amassed on the contact line. They have been joined by far-fight militia trained by Britain and controversial U.S. privateers Blackwater, now known as Academy, along with tanks and weapons supplied by NATO. In a bid to maintain control of the narrative, YouTube blocked official accounts belonging to the Donetsk and Lugansk republics last week without explanation. Kiev was accused of blocking at least 20 foreign journalists from attending a press conference and QA session held by Mr. Pushilin today. Moscow wants guarantees that NATO will adhere to previous agreements in which it promised not to expand eastward. The U.S. however refuses to abide by its pledges and continues to press for Ukraine's membership of the alliance, which is a red line for Russia.